Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because I am sitting down obviously to film episode three of my According to You series, which is where I basically ask you guys to submit your favorite products per category. We've already done foundations and concealers and we're backtracking a little bit on this video and we're gonna be talking about the best primers according to you. So thank you in advance for everybody who submitted your favorite primers. I am so excited to share with you all of the top products products according to you. And before we go any further into the video, if you want to help me out with my next video in this series, I will have the Google form in the description box. We're going to be talking about powders. So loose powders and or pressed powders. If you have a favorite loose and a pressed, feel free to submit both of those and we'll see which powders are the most popular or considered the best of all time according to you guys. So yeah, that will be in the description box down below. Thank you in advance for that video as well. I appreciate your help. The more submissions that we get, the more accurate and the more clear the data is on the other side. So I'm so excited to be talking about primers today. We're gonna start from the bottom and work our way to number one according to you. So. In past videos, there have been a few products that have the exact same number of votes. In 10th place, there are actually three primers that had the exact same number of votes. So I figured I would just share all three. First up, we have the NYX Marshmallow Primer. So this ranked at number 10 with 19 votes. Becky says, overall, the primer performs equally well with my high-end and drugstore products. It smooths and hydrates well and gives me a slight luminosity. It's on the pricey side for a drugstore brand, but still widely cheaper than my high-end primers and works wonders. And that smell, yum. It actually does smell really nice. I put some on the back of my hand so I can smell it again. Yeah, it smells really, really good. Honestly, you guys, I've only tried this a couple of times, but I did really like it when I tried it, so I wanted to make sure to kind of mention that as well. So thank you, Becky, for your input on this. Christiana said, I love what this primer does for my skin. It isn't too slick. That silicone feeling sinks into the skin beautifully, plays well with my favorite foundations, and creates the perfect blurring effect over any areas with texture or large pores. It is hydrating without causing me to end up looking super oily in a matter of minutes, and it truly extends the wear time of my makeup. Love. Guys, I'm telling you, I love reading your reviews on these submissions. It literally sells me on all these products that I already know and love. So thank you so much for everyone who submitted such detailed reviews as well. So next up in 10th place as well is Benefit Professional. What a classic primer, you guys. Ikra said, Benefit Professional primer for me, it just does everything a primer is supposed to do. It blurs out my pores and works on my redness as well. I have acne prone skin and hence struggle with a lot of scars and enlarged pores. And this is by far the only primer that does the job for me. And also my skin loves it. One of the very few products that don't really break me out. So I really appreciate her review as well. This is actually one of the very first primers I ever tried ever. It's been so long since I've tried this. I need to give it another whirl. And then Sarah said, I have really struggled to find the right skincare slash primer combo, but this primer goes on so easy and smooth every time. It really helps to minimize my pores and gives my foundation such a beautiful smooth finish. I have large pores along with acne and chicken pox scars. This primer gives me the confidence to wear makeup more often. I love that. Who doesn't love a primer or a product that boosts your confidence? Next up in 10th place as well with 19 votes as well as the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I personally love this one. It's one of my favorites. Alexia said, this primer is hands down my ride or die. I used to have pretty oily skin and this was hydrating enough but didn't make me more oily. Now I have more normal to dry skin and I appreciate the extra hydration this gives so much underneath makeup. It's silicone free, which I love as it makes the texture more creamy and lightweight. I've tried so many other primers, but cannot stop repurchasing this one. I have to agree, I love this one as well. Catherine also loves this. She said, this has been my holy grail for years. I have very dry skin that turns more combination in the summer and I'm able to use it year round. It gives me the hydration my skin needs without being too much or greasy. Love you, Allie. Love you too, Catherine. Thank you for submitting that. I also agree. I also get use out of this all year round too. In the summertime, it's not too heavy. In the wintertime, it hydrates. It's amazing. I love it. Next up in ninth place is this right here, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, which you guys know I already love. Paige said, I truly do look flawless when I wear this. It's not necessarily a primer, but I use it as one. That's how I use it as well. 
I always look super healthy and alive wearing this under foundation and I just love it. Worth the price tag in my opinion. And then Ashley said, this is my only high-end primer and it gives such a beautiful radiance to the skin. I love how healthy and glowy my skin looks underneath my foundation. I also love how versatile it is because I use it as a highlighter. I do that too. The applicator also makes it a standout product. Discovered this because of you. Love you so much, Allie. I am so happy that you discovered this because of me and that you love it as much as I do. That means so much to me. I'm so glad that you're on board with the Hollywood Flawless Filter as well, Ashley. Thank you for submitting your review. In eighth place, we have two primers that tied again with 21 votes. I forgot to tell you, Charlotte Tilbury got 20 votes. So these primers are seriously like one vote off of each other. So a lot of these have a similar amount of votes until the top few, and it's very significant which ones have won um, out of all the primers out there. But first off, we have the NYX Angel Veil vale Primer. Alicia said, I have tried so many primers in different price ranges and types, and I keep coming back to this one. It smooths out my pores and texture. It keeps my combination skin from becoming too oily, but doesn't dry out my drier sections either. I have also noticed it makes my makeup last so much longer on my skin. So, so good. I love this one too. Chelsea said, this primer is amazing for my oily textured skin. It smooths, it glides on with a soft airy feel. Wow, that description is so nice. And it makes my makeup last all day, which is no easy task on my skin type. It doesn't feel like silicone either, major plus. Love you, Allie, and thank you for being you. Chelsea, that was so nice. Thank you for your sweet, kind words and also for your amazing description of this product. I think you said it best. It really is soft and airy and it also feels lightweight and not silicone-y. Next up is an oldie but a goodie. I think this is actually in the old packaging. I couldn't find my updated packaging and I think this one is expired from my personal collection. I know I have a backup somewhere, but that's not the point. So this one is also tied in eighth place. It's the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Primer. Holly says, nothing compares to this primer. I have tried all the dupes, but they're just not the same, especially after a few uses. Smashbox Photo Finish always performs all the way to the last drop in the tube. Jessica says, the OG primer. It took me forever to purchase it because I kept choosing it as a reward at Sephora. I love that. The samples always lasted me forever because a little bit goes so far. I use it all over my face, including on my eyelids. I loved that. I wanna try that personally. I haven't tried that before. Um, and she said, no matter how many primers I try, I always go back to this one. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I loved her review so much. It made me smile. It's so true. Like when you find something that really works for you, why try to find something better, you know? In seventh place with 22 votes is a newer primer to me personally, but I know so many of you guys really love it. So it's this right here, the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. Lisa said, I love this primer. It helps smooth out any dryness or flakiness on my slightly older skin. It has the feeling of a gripping primer and it really does make my makeup last longer. The cooling feel while applying it is refreshing in the mornings while I'm getting ready for work. I love that. It really does have a nice cooling feeling to the skin. And then Kevin said, this immediately reached holy grail status for me. Can we just talk about how amazing this smells? The texture makes foundation adhere to the skin like no other. Now I want to smell this because I kind of forget how it smells. Yeah, it's a really nice minty kind of a scent as well. Not too overpowering, but really nice. So yeah, Elf Mint Melt clocking in at seventh place with 22 votes. We're going to move on to sixth place which also has two primers tied. So you guys, this has a little more products than you know my other ranking videos in the past, but I really wanted to share every single one that ranked, even if they tied and even if there's double on certain places. So for number six, we have two primers that tied. The first one is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer with 24 votes. Monica says, it's the only primer that keeps my makeup looking fresh all day. Been trying alternatives for years, but I keep going back to this one. And then Liz said, this primer is magic. It applies so effortlessly and gives the rest of my makeup incredible staying powder. I used this on my wedding day and I was so glad I did. I loved that review because if you use this on your wedding day, you know you trust it and and Liz said it herself, she was so glad that she chose this for her wedding day primer. So I really wanted to share those two reviews on this. Next up, tied for sixth place as well is the Tarte Smoothing Primer. Again, with 24 votes, Alex said, by far my fave primer. It settles beautifully into the skin, leaving a smooth satin-like texture to put foundation on top of. Foundation blends out so easily over it, making it look breathable and not like 
I gotta turn my page on my paper here. <laughs> Not like there's just a layer of foundation sitting on the face. Also does a fabulous job of minimizing pores. One container will go a long way. And then Monique said, Timeless is in the name because you will always keep coming back to this product. It blurs pores and is the best way to start any look you want to last. I'm a makeup geek, so I will always be trying the latest hyped up product. Me too, Monique. But when I'm done, this primer is where you'll find me. Ali, thank you for creating this series. It's been a blast contributing to your videos and getting to interact with you. I'm so glad, Monique, that you enjoy this series. Thank you for your amazing review on your personal favorite primer. That seriously means a lot to me that you guys are enjoying this series because truly it's like becoming my favorite series to film ever. All right, you guys, in fifth place with 25 votes is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Now, the original one had the most votes. The Tatcha Silk Canvas actually had quite a few submissions, uh, but it didn't rank in the top 10. So Tiffany said, best primer ever. I have sensitive combination acne prone skin and this product doesn't break me out. I feel like my foundation goes on a lot smoother and a little goes a long way. Despite the price tag, this product definitely makes my pores less noticeable and makes my makeup last all day. In my opinion, definitely worth the hype. Monica said, I have dry skin in the winter and oily skin in the summer and this primer does it all. It is so hydrating but not greasy and does not pill. It makes my pores disappear and gives me a smooth and hydrated canvas for foundation. My favorite primer by far. Love this series, Allie. I'm so glad you also enjoy this series. Thank you both for your reviews and submissions on the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. All right, you guys, we're moving into the top four. In fourth place, we have this right here, a classic in my opinion with 30 votes, the Smashbox Primerizer. Jessica said, absolutely love this primer. I struggle with dry and combination skin. And until I found this primer, I always dealt with foundation looking slightly cakey and accentuating fine lines. Primerizer does a great job of giving you a hydrated base underneath your makeup while also helping it last longer with a healthy radiant glow. I have to agree, I love this. Emma also loves this product and she said, for a dry skin girl, this keeps my skin hydrated while holding my makeup in place all day. My all time favorite. It really is such a good product. I love how it's like a moisturizer and primer in one. So it's really foolproof in my opinion. And yeah, amazing for dry skin, especially with the niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in this. One of my top favorites as well. All right, you guys, are we ready for the top three primers? Coming in at third place with 46 votes is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Molly said, when it comes to my makeup routine, I try to cut out steps wherever I can. This product doubles as a moisturizer and primer for me. It glides on the skin, smells great, doesn't break me out, and creates the smoothest base for makeup. Once I tried it, I was sold. I've used it every day since, even when I don't wear makeup, and I have no plans to try anything else. Sounds like it's absolutely a holy grail product for Molly. This was also Shannon's favorite and she said, I had hesitated buying this for so long because of the price, but picked up a small size and wow, am I ever hooked. I have dry skin, which is maturing, I'm 46, and this gives such a nice moisturizing base for any foundation or tinted moisturizer I use. Love, love, love it. Becca also submitted this primer and they said, love, love this primer. I have oily skin with dry patches, so finding a primer that hydrates while not making my skin look oily has been difficult for me. This primer hydrates my dry patches beautifully while not making my skin look oily under makeup. I do wish the price was more affordable, but from the smell to the texture, it's hard to not splurge on a product that works so well. I personally love this product as well. It does smell amazing. It really does prep the skin beautifully as well. Yes, it is more of a splurge like Becca was saying, but I do feel like a little goes a long way and you really can see a difference, at least in my experience you can, when it's underneath your makeup. It's a great one and done foolproof product. So this is where the top two primers were clearly winners. I feel like all the other votes ranged from like the 20 vote mark to the 46, you know, like the Bobbi Brown one. But then in second place with 76 votes, so quite a bit more, is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Angela said, I have never used a primer as much as this one. I always had issues with my makeup wearing off in certain areas. Hydro Grip makes sure my makeup wears well and I find that I can use lighter coverage because it doesn't disappear. Best of all, I have not found a foundation that doesn't work with this. Love your engagement in your videos. It's so rare. Never stop being you. Angela, thank you so much. I love when you guys leave little like personal notes at the end of your reviews. I appreciate it more than you know. 
Arlet said, this is an absolute love, the best primer I have tried. I have combination skin and when I use this primer, my makeup looks so even and flawless. It hydrates the skin and is tacky enough to really get my foundation to apply amazingly. My makeup lasts so much longer as well. Great for all day looks. And then Georgia said, the only primer you need. It does absolutely everything. It hydrates, smooths, and helps your makeup wear for hours. I have combination to dry skin that slightly changes throughout the year, and it's reliable for any occasion. I've personally tried lots of primers and can confidently say that this is the only one I will repurchase once finished, which considering the amount won't be soon. It's the best and everyone needs this. So there you have it, folks. Number two is Milk Hydro Grip. You know, I've said this in my past videos and I'll say it again, I love how like diverse the price range is when it comes to these videos, there's a good mix of high-end and drugstore that you guys believe are the best out there, which I love because it seems like we are like-minded people that way. I don't feel like the price tag means it's good necessarily and it proves it again because ranked at number one is actually a drugstore primer coming in at a whopping 139 votes which was significantly higher than every other primer submitted is this right here the elf poreless putty primer you guys seem to love this it's one of my personal favorites as well erica said i continuously come back to this product i trust the wear time the fact that i have used it with multiple foundations and it has never acted differently and the obvious it truly hides pores. It is the most trusted primer within my collection and I like the fact that my skin type can change through the seasons and it will still work with my skin regardless if it's more oily or more on the dry side. Marissa said, I used to not think I needed a primer until I found this one. It truly smooths out the skin, making my makeup go on seamless and looking flawless. Absolutely love this primer. Elise also said this was her favorite and she said, I have tried so many different primers, both high-end and drugstore, and I keep coming back to my old faithful Elf Poreless Potty Primer. I live in North Mississippi where the humidity makes your makeup melt off after about five minutes outside. I have tried so many different primers and a search for one that would grip my foundation without feeling sticky or making my makeup look cakey. This one holds up better than any of the others. P.S. Allie, love this series. Guys, seriously, it makes me so happy that you are making sure to write that you enjoy the series. That truly just makes my day. And then I'll read one more review from Teresa. I used this for my wedding day and my makeup lasted all day. I have acne and texture and it helps the makeup smooth these out. I love it. I specifically paid attention to the reviews that mentioned wedding day because I thought to myself, you know, if it's good enough to wear on a wedding day, it's good enough for any day. You know what I mean? So there you have it, you guys. Those are the top 10. It was more than 10, but you know, those are the top primers according to you guys. Thank you so much to everyone who submitted. It is always so fascinating to me to kind of see what primers you guys love the most or what products you guys love. I cannot wait to continue this series. Next up with powders, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, so be sure to submit your favorite powders. Again, it can be a loose powder or a pressed powder. Either one, you just tell me what you're loving. And yeah, I will film that one as soon as possible. That'll be our next one. I cannot wait to have an entire playlist of all the top products according to you. I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you for making this series so fun for me. I'm so happy that you enjoy it as much as I do. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Don't forget to leave a comment letting me know if you agree with how these ranked, if your favorite primer was on this list, or if there's a favorite primer out there that didn't make it in the top 10, leave a comment down below letting us know what that is as well. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.